I'm going to share with you today a few movements and techniques to release neck tension with your postures. So first of all, let's just get comfortable towards the front of your chair. When we sit towards the front of the chair and we create an anterior tilt in the pelvis, it helps us to correct and straighten the spine. So I'm Regina. I'm glad to sharing with you this morning. So first of all, the feet are just rooting down with the anterior tilt in the pelvis. Notice how the breastbone lifts. And with this, imagine your, there's a string attached to the crown of your head. You lift the crown up into the heavens. And just take three deep breaths here. So breathing in through the nostrils. Imagine you're filling a barrel with, with the breath as you breathe in through the nostrils. The belly rise and expand. The ribcage widen. And then there's the lift in the collarbones. Notice how the breath draw us into the moment, into the body, into the here and the now. Just scanning the body. Observe how you feel. Mindfulness of what is here now. So check in with the physical body. How does it feel in the neck and the shoulders? And now we're going to release neck tension, something that you can do every day. Bring your left hand onto your right shoulder. And then here, dig in a little bit here in the neck area. Sque squeeze it a little bit and then pull it across to the opposite hip. Pull it to the left hip. Let's do this three times. This is a, one of the major important techniques in energy medicine. So we're pulling across the body. This three times. You do this daily, it will help to prevent tension in the neck and release any tension. And then we can do the other side. So bringing the right hand onto the left shoulder, dig in there a little bit, a little massage, and then pulling across. So this crossing over of the body also help to reset, as I discussed with you last time, the imbalances between left and right brain and left and right body. And then just once more. Good, and then you can just feel the effect of that. Take a moment, take a breath, observe. Energies along the spine. And now we're going to do a, a yin stretch. Yin means we stretch the yin tissues in the body. Yin yoga is target the tendons and the ligaments. We reach beyond the muscle tissue. So taking your right arm um, towards the back and then bring your left arm around the back in, and holding on to the elbow, the forearm or the wrist, pulling the right arm slightly further away here f towards the back. And now, so do we open here under that little triangle under the collarbone, which will help to eliminate rounded shoulders. And then drop your chin towards your breastbone and then take two breaths here. Just observe how you feel. How does it feel here in the shoulder? Which part of the neck does this reach into? Maybe you can feel it here on the seam of the arm where the, the deltoid muscle tendon connect. And then slowly move your chin towards your armpit, towards the left, and feel how that's taking the stretch a little bit further down the arm. And then if you tilt, the ear, so make small micro shifts, the ear towards the, the shoulder. Feel how it's stretched here in the scalene muscles, the sternocleidomastoid, all those tiny delicate neck muscles. So when we do the yin yoga practice, we hold a shape, just breathing into that and feeling into that. Our tendons and our ligaments are more plastic. They react to slow, long, relaxed holds. So you can explore here, small shift, gently stretch the side of the neck and then moving the chin back to the armpit. Feel how to take the stretch down into the rhomboids in the back of the neck. And just breathe, take two more deep breaths here. And now slowly bring the chin back to center. Release the arms, bring the hands back into your lap. 
And you can bring the chin back parallel to the floor. And then just take a moment, maybe close the eyes. When we close the main sense door, we can feel so much more. Feeling into the sensations down that right arm. Feeling into the sensations in the jaw. That's a nice stretch to release tension in the jaw. Maybe around the ear, the side of the scalp. And in the chest, we also stretch through the front into the pectoralis. A few moments just to observe the sensations. You may experience some tingling and pulsing. That is the chi. So now let's do the other side. So bringing the left arm back and then take, wrap the right arm around your back. And then again, we're slowly going to drop the chin. So we open here under the collarbone, helping us to eliminate rounded shoulders. And when we have nice straight upper back, it helps us to breathe to our full capacity. So let the chin drop towards the breastbone. Take two breaths here, just pausing into this feeling. Where does this reach in for you? When there's pain in the body, there's often stagnation of chi. And as we hold the stretches in a relaxed way, it works in a similar way than having a needless acupuncture session. So just checking in, where does it reach? Can you feel it here in the neck? Maybe all the way over to the forehead can release tension headaches and then slowly start to move the chin towards the right armpit. Feel how that changes the stretch more to the top of the shoulder, into the deltoid tendon. Moving the chin towards the armpit. And pause here, feeling and breathing. Observe the sensations that the stretch is creating. Feel the opening in the pectoralis here on the left. And now slowly start to tilt the head, the ear towards the shoulder. You have that lengthen into scalene muscles, maybe the jaw and small micro shifts just to find that place where you feel there is tension and then stretch into that gently. Like putting an acupuncture, a needless acupuncture needle in there. When there is stagnation of chi, as I said, there is a blockages in the meridian pathways and that can cause pain and discomfort. So we tend to avoid it, but if we gently stretch into it, it can release the tension. Good, and now you can slowly come back with your chin to the center of the chest, release the arm, bring the hands onto your lap. And take a moment here, just pausing and feeling. Feel the sensations on this side of the face, on the left, the neck, the arm. Now we're going to do a, um, with a four-part tires breath, which is gentle movement, which is mindfulness movement. And we're going to take the arms to your side as you inhale. Lift the arms up to the sky and have a big old good stretch. This is the why that we've done before, the practice that helps us to prevent the Dowager's hump. And then we can come into the W, just draw the shoulder blades together. And then reaching out in the T, turn the palms up, drop the fingers, nice stretch for the palms and the wrist, and then turn the palms down and create a figure of eight with the, the arms here, and then inhale, draw back to center. Now pushing forwards, You're pushing forwards away from you. We can also engage the facial muscles here if you want, you can prevent your blower. Marilyn Monroe kiss and then draw back to center. And now we're going to do a line breath. In yoga, we stick the tongue out, we roll like a line, you roll your eyes up and bring that breath out from the belly. <laughs> Reaching for the stars with your bum on the seat. And now we settle the chi, descending the energies, bring it back down through the crown, all the way down into your lower belly. 
So just gather the energies here. We're going to do that again. Inhale, arms wide. Lift your wings. And now we're pushing out here to the side. So bring the hands down to the shoulders, from the shoulders out to the side. Blow your trumpet, wall your cheeks like Louis Armstrong. And you turn the palms up, draw back to center. This time as we push forwards, again a Marilyn Monroe kiss. Soft, juicy lips. Draw back to center. And again, the line breath, releasing tension in the jaws. You stick your tongue out. The tongue is an extension of your neck muscles. So reach for the stars. And then descending that heavenly chi, the star energy, bring it down into your crown, all the way down into your lower belly, to your hara. The hara is our seat of consciousness. Martial art forms work from here in the lower belly. And if you engage in this place, it will help you to find stability. Nobody can push you over. Not only physically, but also mentally. mentally. Inhale, gather. Last round, reaching up. And then exhale, out to the side, blow your trumpet, ball your cheeks. Turn the palms up, draw back to center. And now we're going to push forward with our Marilyn Monroe kiss. Good, and gather, draw back to center. Now big line breath as you push up to the sky, lift all the weight off your shoulders. Stretch in the Y and then imagine you bring a ball of energy, heavenly chi, down your crown, descending it into your heart and bringing it down into the lower belly, our, the lower belly, the hara as our center of gravity. This is also known as the seat of consciousness. If we focus our awareness here, the mind becomes quiet. Just feeling into the space. Nobody can push you over mentally and physically if your awareness rests in the lower belly. You know, this is also in martial art, they use it so that they don't get pushed over. And in the same way, if somebody upset you, hurt your feelings, annoy you, put them in your belly. And just take a few breaths here. Close your eyes, feeling into your arms, that soft Tai Chi arm movement, activate the life force through the lungs, the heart, small and large intestine meridians, as well as pericardium and triple heater. So have a deep breath in and a big sigh. Ah, so you open your eyes. Thank you. Thank you for practicing with me. And I hope you can use these techniques during your week to release your neck and just calm your mind.